from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of Dell Technologies World. Digital experience, brought to you by Dell Technologies. Hi, welcome to theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2020, the virtual experience. I'm Lisa Martin, and I've got a couple of guests joining me. One of them is a longtime CUBE alumni. John Siegel is back, the VP of Product Marketing for Dell Technologies. John, it's great to see you. Great to be back, Lisa, thank you. And also joining us is Troy Massey, the Director of Enterprise Engagements from Ironbow Technologies. Troy, welcome to theCUBE. Hi, thank you for having me. So we're going to be talking about VxRail, how it's driving the future of HCI to the edge, but first let's get Troy's perspective. I would like the audience to understand who Ironbow Technologies is and what you do, and then we'll kind of look at it as what you're doing with VxRail, as well as your channel partner business with Dell Technologies. So Troy, take it away. Hi, yeah, so uh, Ironbow is a, a, a global company. We're a value-added reseller, uh, heavy partnered with Dell. Um, we have people physically uh, living from Europe all the way through Korea. Um, if we kind of face the globe, uh, primarily in wherever there's DOD or federal government agency. And tell me about, from a channel partner perspective, what you guys are doing together. Yeah, so we have a lot of efforts going on channel uh, partner together. Uh, specifically, uh, Iron Target is, is a huge effort that we're, we're doing together. Uh, it's a on-prem cloud uh, that's, uh, its base is VxRail, VMware Cloud Foundation on top uh, with Intel all throughout. So there's Intel Xeon processors and uh, Optane drives. Uh, so just the perfect, elegant on-prem cloud, hybrid cloud solution that uh, Dell and Ironbow are uh, driving together. So let's talk about the edge because a big focus of Dell Technologies World this year is about the edge. How do you see Troy Ironbow extending services to the edge? And what do you anticipate from your customers in terms of what their needs are as they're changing? Great, great question. So um, for one, we've got to talk a little bit about what the edge and what the edge is. And, and uh, the edge is different things to different people. So I'm going to explain a little bit of the edge and what we're seeing in, in, in the federal government. So I'll give you one example, and that's um, uh, the Air Force Reserve. So they have a uh, an entire um, squadron that does all of the firefighting, uh, the large fires you see across California or whatever states engulfed in fires that year. Um, where they take an entire squadron of airplanes out and they, they throw water over all, the whole fire. Uh, but they don't just bring planes, they bring entire uh, uh, squadrons of, of military personnel to help communicate with the, with the police and with the local fire. And all of that takes information. So they need to bring information data with them. Uh, is there a building over there? Do people live over there? Uh, where we've got to actually concentrate on fighting that fire uh, priority-wise, so it doesn't make a lot of uh, a lot of sense to try to do that remotely over a satellite feed. Uh, it's it, it's large large chunks of data that need to be uh, local to the customer. So um, DX Rail is is the 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 power beast in the HCI world. So it, uh, a VX Rail at that edge. Uh, provides them with the performance they need to get that job done in a timely manner. I think that's going to be a new news segment here in Silicon Valley that thinking about all the fires we've had, it's really VxRail at the edge that's helping fight the fires. That's not something yeah. I knew. So thanks for sharing that. So same John, I'm sorry. Same conversation with the hurricane from. So there's all kinds of hurricane humanitarian efforts going on right now. Same deal. They need to know where to uh, go rescue those people, and it's all data. Exactly, and it's got to be data that's that, as you said, is not delayed, sent over the wire, but obviously being able to be transmitted in real time so that actions can be taken, which is one of the things we talk about with data all the time. You have to be able to get the insight and act on it quickly. So, so John, the theme of this year's virtual Dell Technologies World is the edge is a big part of the theme. So talk to us about driving the future of HCI at the edge with VxRail, how there's been a lot of growth, I think 9,600 plus customers so far. So mm -hmm. talk to us about the future of HCI at the edge with VxRail as a driver of that. Absolutely. So first of all, I want to thank Iron Bow for being one of our 
nearly 10,000 customers for VX Rail. Um, and, you know, absolutely. So, you know, overall, the edge is going to be a major theme for Dell Tech World this week, uh, and specifically for VX Rail. Um, we, of course, continue to play with VX Rail, a key role in modernizing data centers, uh, as well as hybrid cloud. And, and this week, we really wanted to highlight some of the recent innovations we have around extending the simplified operations of VX Rail that many like uh, Ironbow and others are, are experiencing today in the core uh, or in the cloud and extending those that automation to the edge. Um, and you heard a lot about what the edge can do and the, and the implications and the, the value of the edge. Um, while we have lots of customers today, um, including Ironbow, that are using VX Trail at their edge locations, uh, we have others like large retail, uh, home improvement chains, financial institutions. Um, we expect the edge to soon explode. Um, we like to think that uh, we are at the edge um, of the edge opportunity um, in IT. In fact, IDC recently stated that by 2023, over 50% of new enterprise data that is generated is gonna be generated outside the core data center and outside the cloud. That's up from 10% today. So this is, this is massive. Um, edge locations, um, of course, come with their own challenges, whether it's sometimes less than ideal uh, conditions around power and cooling, or they may not have typically um, skilled IT staff at the edge, right? So they, they need, they, they need new special configurations. They need operational efficiencies. And, and I think VX Rail is uniquely positioned to help address that. Let's kind of dig into those operational challenges because in the last seven months, so much of what we all do has become remote. And a mm. good amount of that is going to be probably permanent, right? So when you think about the volume of remote devices that VX Rail could potentially manage, John, how how do you see the actual being able to help in this sort of very distributed environment that might be very well much permanent? Yeah, I know. And like you said, it's going to just grow and grow the distributed environment and, and what that means for each company might be slightly different. But regardless, uh, what they do need is seamless operations uh, across all of those different edge locations. Um, and uh, again, a big focus for us. So we're really doing three things to extend the, the automated operations of VX Rail to the edge and doing so at scale. Uh, the first thing I want to say, talk about is that we did unveil just two VX Rail platforms uh, designed specifically for the edge. Uh, the new VX Rail E series, uh, which is ideal for remote office locations where space is limited. Uh, the remote, uh, the VX Rail D series, I think of D as in durable. Uh, this is our ruggedized platform uh, built from the ground up for harsh environments, you know, such as uh, DOD environments like in the, um, in the desert. Um, and, and both of these VX Rail platforms are fully automated. They automate everything from deployment to expansions to, to lifecycle management overall. Um, and now what we're, we're doing now is extending that automation. This is the second thing we're doing, uh, you know, to the edge from an operational perspective. And what we're doing first and foremost is we are introducing a new software as a service multi-cluster management. Uh, this is part of the VX Rail ACI system software that we delivered today as part of VX Rail. Uh, this not only provides a global view of the infrastructure performance um, and capacity analysis across all the edge locations, but even more importantly, it actively ensures that all the clusters in the remote loca locations always stay in a continuously validated state. This means that it can automatically determine which software components need to be upgraded, um, you know, and also automatically execute the full stack upgrades, right, without any technical expertise uh, at the site. It can be done centrally, further automating the lifecycle management process and process that we do uh, at the core in the cloud and now extending that to the edge. So you know, imagine the operational efficiencies for customers with tens or hundreds or, or even thousands of edge sites. So this is we think truly a game changer uh, from that perspective. And then in addition to that, we're also adding uh, the support for VCF on VX Rail. So uh, just at VMworld, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, VMware announced uh, remote edge cluster support for VCF. Uh, so those customers that run run VCF on VX Rail now can get the the they can enjoy a consistent cloud operating model. Um, you know, for those edge locations. So you know, in in summary, you're getting consistency, you're getting automation, uh, regardless of where your VX Rail is located. And this is something that I saw in the notes, John, is described as a curated experience. Can you describe yeah, what yeah. that is? If I think of reference architectures and things like that, what is a curated experience and how is it different? Yeah, no, a curated experience for VxRail, really what it is, it's about seamless. Uh, it, it's about 
we, we have taken the burden, if you will, of integrating infrastructure off of the customer's shoulders and onto ours, right? So what we do is we ensure VxRail is, in fact, the only um, jointly engineered ATI system in the market uh, that's jointly engineered with VMware for VMware to enhance VMware environments. Uh, and so what we've done is we, uh, we have a pre-integrated uh, full stack um, experience that we're providing the customer from deployment uh, to, uh, again, to uh, everyday operations, to making changes, et cetera. Uh, we've essentially, what we've done here um, is that we've, we've taken, again, that, that burden off of customers uh, and allowed them to spend more time innovating uh, and less, you know, less time integrating. That sounds good to everyone, right? Simplifying less time and, uh, to troubleshoot, more time to be able to yeah. be strategic and innovative, especially in such a rapidly changing world. Troy, over exactly. to you just, now. Oh, go ahead, John. I was just going to say to add to that, you know, we've seen a real acceleration this year to digital transformation. To your point earlier, just with remote everything, and I think a lot of the projects, and so, including a shift that we've seen to consuming infrastructure overall, whether, you know, and that's, that's the, the onset of the cloud and wherever that cloud might be, right? It could be on-prem, could be on-premises, could be off-premises. Um, and so, you know, that focus on consuming infrastructure versus, and that preference for consuming infrastructure versus building and maintaining it is something that we're gonna continue to see accelerate over time. You're right, that digital transformation acceleration has been one of the biggest topics in the last seven months. and looking at which businesses really are set up and have the foundation and the culture to be able to make those changes quickly to not just survive in this environment, but, but win tomorrow. So Trey, let's talk over to you for a second. In terms of, of the edge, what are your thoughts on, as a partner with VxRail, you've got a solution built on it. What are your thoughts about what VxRail is gonna be able to deliver, enable you to deliver at the edge? I know you gave us that great example of the Air Force Reserve, but what are Ironbow's thoughts there? What do you envision going forward? Yeah, absolutely, thank you. And um, first I would uh, expand a little bit on, on what John was painting for a picture. Um, he talked about tens, hundreds, even thousands of different sites uh, that, that all need their data, they all need processing compute, but those type of scale uh, of sites don't necessarily mean they have an IT on staff at those, those sites. A great example of Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, they have to have one or two people out at every dam to monitor the dam. But that doesn't mean it justifies an IT staff or out there with them. So the idea to remotely manage that DX rail, uh, they're, they're just industry leaders in, in the ability to uh, deploy this somewhere where there's not an IT person and be able to manage it, but not just manage it, Predictive analysis on when they're starting to run out of storage, uh, give alerts so that we can we can start the upgrade. John, talk to us about the engagement that you're expecting your customers to have with Dell Technologies during this virtual event. Absolutely, I think so. First of all, um, yeah, virtual is different, but there's a lot of advantages to that. Um, one of them is that we can have. Um, an ongoing dialogue during uh, a number of the sessions that we have. While some of the sessions might be pre-recorded, there are live chats all the way through, including a number of breakouts on VxRail specifically, uh, as well as the edge, as well as a number of different um, topics as you can imagine. Um, we've also just launched a new game, uh, a fun game uh, from mobile called Data Center Sim, uh, where uh, customers can have some fun uh, learning about VxRail, uh, the experience it takes in balancing their budget and staffing and capacity uh, to address the needs of the business. So uh, we're always looking for fun and engaging ways to experience the real life benefits of our HCI platforms such as VxRail. And, um, so customers can uh, check that out as well uh, by searching uh, their app store of choice for Dell Technologies Data Center Sim uh, and have at it and have some fun. But, but again, whether it's playing the game online through an augmented reality experience or it's um, you know, connecting directly with any of our subject matter experts, um, there's going to be a lot of opportunity uh, to learn more about how VxRail and HCI can help our customers thrive. Excellent. I like that game idea. Well, Troy and John, thank you for joining me today, letting me know what you guys are doing with VxRail, what's coming with the edge, and the fact that the, the use cases are just going to proliferate. We appreciate your time. Uh, thank you as well. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching The Cube's coverage of Dell Technologies World 2020.